What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World and right now we're going to be talking about this card that a lot of you guys have been going crazy about Warren Moon but before we get into that I want to thank all of you guys for going ahead and watching the member only uh, ebook. It's part one. A lot of you guys came out you upgraded your memberships. It is $10 for the ebook and you will be getting several updates to those ebooks as we continue to go on throughout the season. So just go ahead if you would like to do it and upgrade from perk to huge go ahead and do that and you will have access to the ebook again it's part one and thank you guys for those of you who guys who uh upgraded and got right into it so go ahead and like the video we're going to talk about this right now because a lot of you guys like myself wasted uh the tax trying him out so let me just show you guys before we get into it what happened right so i actually bought this damn dummy um not really realizing how important uh the acceleration was with him versus lamar right now he does get hot route master and he also gets dashing and it's a very very important part of the way that i would like to run my offense running around like a weirdo and doing stuff like that is very very important i believe right just hear me out you can still be a pocket passer right and have lamar jackson and bunch like you know a lot of pro players still run around and they run bunch but the if you don't have a player that can move around with mobility in madden 24 you really are setting yourself up to lose games and i'm just letting you guys know that because I've beaten pros that, you know, ran with Aitman and a lot of these other guys. For those of you guys that tune into my streams on Twitch, you see it. Um, you can't go anywhere. So when you send everybody in there, they're just a sitting duck. Pretty much over for them, right? So that that was what I paid for them. Um, no, this is what I paid for them. I paid 1.45 and I sold them for 1.38. And uh, I tried out Champ Bailey. He's also garbage. Reggie White sucks. But... If you don't send a lot of people and you send like three, you'll get like really good sheds with him. But because I blitz often, he doesn't really do anything. It's like EA Sports, they limit the amount of pressure that you can get on a player because they want you know, they want your opponent to sit back there and just be able to pitch a tent and just have a really, really good time. And it's really, really stupid. All right. The nano detection, your player just stopping when he's right next to the quarterback. Very, very bad programming. So realistically you can get other players and just put them in there for sheds because nobody really uses d-line abilities you know what i'm saying d-line abilities are a joke it's more about the secondary and getting knockouts right now and i think that that's why ea sports is hesitant to raise the ap limit because if you give people deep out ko's and all kind of weird stuff the game's going to be pretty much really nasty it's going to be 23 and 22 combined that's ultimately what's going to happen, all right? So I want you guys to you know, pretty much understand what I'm going to show you right now. We're going to go over to the catalog, and we're going to take a look at um, you know, the actual card versus you know, what, you know, what is he right now. I think he should be like about a mil now. Everybody knows he's garbage at this point. All right, so he's down to a mil. People spent 1.9 for him. It was real stupid, all right? Now, look at this. I'm going to show you guys something, right, so you guys can understand what's happening. This is a very, very important part. His acceleration is 80. Okay, so what happens is this. If you want to run around with him, he starts off extremely, extremely slow. So put it like this. Andrew Luck, for those of you guys that have used the captain, let me know. Write Andrew Luck in the comments or just write Luck in the comments, right? If you used Andrew Luck before, Andrew Luck is super faster than this guy with an 85 speed because his acceleration is better. So they did that to make sure that you can't get everything out of him because honestly, his release is decent without Gunslinger. So that's not the problem. The problem is he doesn't move well and he sucks. So a lot of people that lost 900K, if you guys are watching my videos on all three channels, G Myers World, G Myers World Gaming, and uh, G Myers World Sports, I give you a variation on a daily basis of the current cards and what's going on with it. So if you're tuned into all those channels, you are pretty much in tune to what's going on with the game. Like, you don't have to worry about nothing. And then, if you're a member of G Myers World right, right here on YouTube, you can hit me up with a question or a comment and get that answered. Or, like I said, also have access to the ebooks that I'll be releasing on a regular basis. So, look, this is, this is the situation, right? Because he's so disgusting and his numbers are like that, it doesn't make any sense to use him right now. Also, with the fact that now we realize, because I don't even know, does it show their accelerations? It doesn't even show all of the stuff. It's really, really nasty the way that I just showed you guys that he has an 80. And you see like the throw on the run, everything looks really, really good. The throw under pressure, all that stuff. He does not move like a human being. So because I, I showed you guys that, I want to show you, um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into my items so I can pretty much show you guys what's going on with the other cards and why I think it's beneficial to just go ahead and hang out with Lamar temporarily. 
because he has the release and he has the speed that can get you through right now until we see what they give us for harvest. It doesn't really matter. So his acceleration is 94, right? So he moves really, really fast outside the pocket. So put it like this. If somebody is blitzing you heavily and you, you know, you click the R trigger and you stop moving, he zips out of the way. Warren Moon, I wanted to keep him because remember, with the Strat card, the All Madden Strat card, he has a 97 throw power. That is insane. And it really shows in the game because I was throwing darts right to him, bro, uh, with uh, with Warren Moon. Like, like Olsen is a really good tight end also, by the way, and he gets tight end apprentice uh, in case you guys wanted to get rid of uh, Uncle Vern. But this is a major, major factor. So you guys got to be very, very smart with it. And what I would suggest, right, is that you follow me on Twitch for when I'm playing with these cards live so that when you see the videos, you kind of understand what you're getting. Because this is the type of insight that I want you guys to understand so that you're just smarter and better players than your opponent. Because if you see somebody with Warren Moon, you know they're not getting away from you. Like he's, not, dude, you're not running anywhere. The dude is literally gonna get tackled instantly. Dudes were running in with the slowest lineman and before I can get any like giddy up, he was gone. So I would rather play with Andrew Luck than Warren Moon. Honestly, the next Andrew Luck card is probably gonna be worth like four million and just stay there. Like I'm gonna be totally honest. The next Andrew Luck card that drops, it'll probably be a golden ticket uh, because he was a limited uh, for the AKAs. He's gonna be OP. That is the perfect prototypical card. You give him a little bit more speed, more throw power, acceleration, it's over. Like that card is gonna be the best card. Let me know. Like I said, I wanna see how many people write Luck in the comments because he is, dude, it hurt me to get rid of Andrew Luck. That dude threw dimes, all right? I only got this guy because he's most feared, just to be totally honest with you. So for now, this is the recommendation that I would give you as far as quarterbacks go. And if you are a member of the channel, you could throw out your quarterback and I'll give you some insight into that as well. You also, if you are a member and you're leaving comments on the member only video, that's a very easy way to get answers because it's member only. That way we can uh, discuss those things with the members. But I wanna know what quarterbacks everybody is using right now so that we can go over that as well. Because I think, for, you know, for the bang for the buck right now, Lamar Jackson is probably, you know, the best QB there. Now, I've been hearing good news about Russell Wilson, but I have not, I, I haven't seen his release. So I can't really tell you guys, cause I know I'm gonna get a ton of questions about, yo, what about Russell Wilson, stuff like that. I can't really say anything about his release. I will tell you this though, based on the way that his acceleration is, you can see his acceleration is a 93. He's gonna be super fast out of the back, you know, cause I just showed you with the plus two, uh, Lamar Jackson goes to a 94. He stopped 93. This guy's gonna move. If he has a decent, you know what I'm saying, a decent actual um, release, he will actually be a formidable player uh, to run around with. Now, he's a lot cheaper right now than Warren Moon, and um, you know, but he's a little bit shorter. It doesn't really matter though. You can see based on the variation, you see these pocket passers like Kurt Warner, Warren Moon is gonna be uh, lower, you know, probably by the weekend with the legend drop. You see like Troy Aikman, um, CJ Stroud, we could check what he got going on too, uh, as far as what his acceleration is. Uh, it's a 90, so I don't really like his card. They did him kind of dirty. I wouldn't even experiment with this card, but I would say that Dange Russ and uh, Lamar Jackson are probably the best cards in the game right now. Let me know. Hit me up with any of the questions or comments you may have. If you're a member, it will be answered immediately. Other than that, go ahead and leave it for the community. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. You have a blessed day. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.